It's a hundred years this year since the genre of Indian film known as Bollywood first launched. The first ever Bollywood film was a silent film, only 40 minutes long, during which all of the female roles were played by men. So a million miles from the all-singing, all-dancing, lavish affairs that epitomise Bollywood today. The golden era, well, what's considered to be the golden era, of Bollywood was the 50s and 60s and there are some amazing epics out there obviously very inspiring for me from a makeup point of view and a fashion and clothes point of view but also just the way they're made Bollywood films are just so colourful and they really draw you in today I'm going to base the look I'm going to do on a more recent Bollywood film and that is Devdas which is a 2002 production and it was the first film that really I think crossed over 100% into the West because it was nominated at Cannes, it won a BAFTA and um, I think it was the first film that really kind of made the Western world kind of watch a Bollywood film, a lot of people anyway, certainly me. Um, and it's a ma- it's an amazing film to watch because it's it's about three hours long, which is quite short actually for a Bollywood film. Um, but it's just it was the most expensive Bollywood film ever made, and it's just lavish sets and beautiful colours, incredible dancing in it. There's one duet between the two leading ladies where they dance together and sing called um, Dollar Di Dollar, which once you've seen it, the song kind of gets stuck in your head. But it's the most amazing dancing and. A, I just I just love to watch that scene because it, it's just so beautiful. The the two actresses in it are Madari Dixit, who is a bit like a national treasure. She's a bit like I imagine the and I'm no expert on Bollywood, but she's a bit like the sort of Kate Winslet is to us. She is a very respected um, actress of iconic status who also happens to be incredibly beautiful as well and the I guess world famous also Indian actress Ashwari Rai who's just amazing looking and was a former Miss World who has the most beautiful sort of pale green eyes and it's just a really great film. I have a beautiful model today. Her name is Nalintha. We met a couple of years ago and she was modelling and she was also studying to be a nutritionist. And um, I, she's gorgeous, so I hope you like the look. So I'm going to start by using some Pro Longwear Foundation by MAC and this will be a great base because it really evens out skin tone and obviously it's very long-lasting as well, which is perfect for this kind of look. So on to concealing and I'm not going to conceal around the eyes just yet simply because we're going to do quite a bit of eye makeup but I'm using a Bobbi Brown cream concealer which I'm mixing in with the base that I've just used and I'm going to use it just to conceal skin and we'll come back to eyes a little bit later on. So I'm just going to go over any areas that need extra concealing just a little tiny bit of pigmentation here and then a little bit of pinpoint concealing so exactly using the same product just onto any areas pigmentation and patting in just to really conceal and give a really flawless look to the skin so I've done most of the concealing I'll do a little bit more at the at the end and obviously I'll do all the concealing under Nalintha's eyes at the end as well so to start with eyes I'm going to use primer potion by Urban Decay just really blend that in smooth on all over I'm going to start by using this palette from my kit which is Tom Ford's Amber, Burnished Amber, starting with the light peachy tone which is at the top left hand corner. And I'm going to apply this, it's quite shiny this colour, you can see it's slightly metallic, but I'm just going to put it mainly across the lid and then very lightly smoothing it up towards Nalintha's brow. It's a gorgeous kind of peachy gold really. So next I'm going to use the bronzy shade at the bottom right hand corner which is this one, it's very coppery. But I'm going to mix it with Max Devilishly Dark so I get a kind of very deep chocolatey bronze colour. I'm going to apply this really through the socket line there. Just applying it to create some definition. And then as you add more intensity, just keeping everything soft, so blending and blending 
as it goes along. So keep a, a clean brush handy and with this type of look where it's quite an involved eye makeup, every time you use a different colour or apply a different shape just keep using your buffing, clean buffing brush and blending over the top. Otherwise if you leave it till it's all on and then you've got very hard lines then trying to blend everything becomes a nightmare so do it bit by bit. So next on to eyeliner because no Bollywood look would be complete without liner. I'm using the L'Oreal gel liner to start with and I'm going to smoke this out actually in a moment but to start with I'm going to trace it along the upper lash line and certainly in Dev Does there's a, a lot of black eyeliner on show at all times and I think it looks incredible. So I'm just tracing along the upper lash line to start very simply. I'm going to bring this out a little bit more at the outer 